All right, guys, I gotta re-spool my line. And some of you guys have asked me what, what's the knot that I put on to the spool before I spool in fresh line. Conventional knot would be the arbor knot. Uh, I like prove that arbor knot, hence uh, that's the reason why I do that is because most reels these days they come with a very finished aluminum surface on the spool. So they're quite slippery. Uh, if, you're, if you're using mono, filament or fluorocarbon line. Yeah, when, when you tie a knot, when you tie an arbor knot to the spool, it causes a lot of friction and it does not slip. But as opposed to braided line, braided lines are quite slippery to be honest. So especially when you tie it onto a slippery surface like the spool. So they tend to slip and when they slip, it causes uh, drag slippage. Uh, drag slippage is something what I call is when you have fish on, your drag is completely locked and you feel like drag is coming out, but actually it's not drag coming out. It's just your line biting on each other and slipping. So the spool is actually not, the drag is actually not doing work. So you're not getting the, the, uh, the effective drag set from your reel directly to the fish to set your hook. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. When you guys wanna start spooling in the line, it's a good practice to, to check where the position of your line guide is, if, especially when you're doing, trying to do the improve up or not. So what I'll do is, you see the line guide moving left, right, left, right, left, right, right? So what I do is, I will send the line guide all the way to the right, and as I see it approaching to center, I will stop, open the spool, and that is when I will slip in the line into the line guide. So we start off by threading in the line into the line guide and then we stop at the spool like this. So now that we got the line in, what I'll usually do is I'll take a, a masking tape like this, I'll tape the line onto the spool. This is just to temporarily hold it while I start doing the wraps. Ideally what I will do is in order for me to get a very good arbor knot, what I'll do is I'll do five wraps. So one, two, three, four, five. So five times it wraps up, I know that I've got a good five good wraps on the spool and this is gonna give me good friction. It's gonna help me by biting onto the spool. All right, once we've got the five wraps in, what I'll do is I'll peel off the masking tape and this will then give me end of the line. See here, this is the end of the line, right? So we wanna use this to make the knot, this end line here. Okay, by me grabbing onto the masking tape, I automatically get the end of the line. All right, now that you got the tag line, you got the tag line in hand, in hand, and you've got your main line here. I'm holding my main line in my right hand. I'm holding my tag line on my left hand, right? So the main line is coming into the the line guide, and it's it's starting to wrap in the spool. Everything is loose right now, but I don't care. I'm not really bothered about it. I'm just going to show you guys how the, how am I going to do the knot right now. So I've got the main line on my right hand, the tag line on my left hand, right? So I take the tag line, I take the tag line, and I go inside, I wrap around the main line one time, I wrap around the main line two times, and then I go back to the tag line and I complete it off with a double half hitch. A double half hitch is, is when you do one hitch, if you do a half hitch, but instead of pulling it and tightening it, I'm doing another wrap, another half hitch in it, and I've got two wraps. So you will end up with a knot like this. And what I'll do is now, I'll just pull it tight. Okay, once we have pulled the line, in order to stop this from slipping, what I'll do is, I will put a dead end knot at the back. So this is the tag line, right? From the tag line, what I will do is, I will just loop it up, and then complete it with a half hitch like this, pull it tight. So this is your stopper knot. That's your stopper knot. That will help this knot from failing. So once we've got the stopper knot, we've got all these knots done. What I'll do is I'll pull the main line tight so that it wraps 
the spool really tight and it bites on. So I'll show you guys now. So it comes out, right? Now I just pull. And you will see the line, the knot go in. And you see how that knot ends up there. I will pull even harder. It stopped at the stopper knot, right? So when I pulled and I pulled, I yanked it harder, it stopped. Now it's not going to come out. It's definitely not going to slip out. Okay, now that we got this tight, I will hold this line really tight. And I will try to pull in the line. You see? No slip. I'm holding it really tight, no slip. Right? It goes in really tight. Now, in order for me to start spooling, what I'll do is I'll get rid of this end line, this tag line. 